If one of the world's wildest supercar makers decided to build a sensible family car, what would it look like? Well, it ain't no SUV, that's for sure. This is the Koenigsegg Jumeirah. For 25 years, Sweden's Koenigsegg has built some of the world's fastest, most powerful and most expensive supercars. But it says that this is an entirely new type of car, the Mega GT. Koenigsegg is right. I can guarantee you've never seen a car like this before. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started. Let's start with the numbers because they are a little bit ridiculous. Just 300 will be built and the cost is $2.5 million before on-road costs or options. It produces 1,268 kilowatts or 1,700 horsepower and 3,500 newton meters. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.9 seconds and top speed is beyond 400 k's an hour. Oh, and it has no gearbox. I know you think I'm making all this up, but I am deadly serious. It can also seat four adults and travel up to 50 kilometers on electricity alone. It's a pretty cool looking thing. A pillarless two-door four-seater that stands less than 1.3 meters high. It doesn't need B-pillars because everything is made from carbon fiber, the monocoque, the body panels, even the massive 21 and 22 inch wheels. Despite this, the Jumeirah weighs 1,995 kilograms, the reasons for which I will now explain. In simple terms, the Jumeirah is a hybrid, so it's got a petrol engine and batteries, which is why it's quite heavy. But as the output suggests, this is no ordinary hybrid. The petrol engine is a two litre, three cylinder turbo, dubbed the tiny friendly giant, hat tip to Roald Dahl, which sends 441 kilowatts to the front wheels. It's tiny not just because it's a three cylinder, but because it has no camshafts, which reduces weight and size. Instead, it uses Koenigsegg's free valve technology, which replaces the camshaft with an individual actuator on each valve. This gives unheard of control over how the air gets into and out of the engine. Why is this important? It improves emissions, increases power, spools up the turbos faster, it's fantastic. But it's also very expensive, which is why it appears here first. The other 800 kilowatts or so comes courtesy of a trio of electric motors, one on the engine crankshaft and one on each rear wheel. This not only makes the Jumeirah all-wheel drive, it gives it four-wheel torque vectoring too. Oh, and it's got all-wheel steering. These electric motors mean the Jumeirah can go up to 300 kilometers an hour as an EV, and it's got a range of around 50 kilometers. Oh, I almost forgot, the gearbox, or rather, the lack of one. Instead of gears, it's got a hydraulic coupling which slips at low RPM and in conjunction with the electric motors gets the car moving, then the transmission locks up and the engine powers the car past 400 kilometers an hour. It's extremely clever, but it must be very weird to drive. Now, let's pop open the dihedral synchro helix doors and hop inside. If you like carbon fiber and screens, you'll love the inside of the Jumeirah. I've got screens for the rear view mirrors, instruments, which self-level when I turn the steering wheel, and of course, this massive 13 inch infotainment unit. It's pretty snug in here, but also very comfy. The driving position is really good. I've got electric seats adjusted by this screen here, wireless charging, hot and cold cup holders, an 11 speaker stereo, onboard Wi-Fi and internet. This is intended to be a comfortable daily driver. If you're comfortable daily driving, something worth multiple millions of dollars, that is. Here in the back, there's plenty of space, actually, as well as the same bucket seats as in the front. And the lack of pillars means it's quite easy to get in and out of as well. We've got another massive infotainment screen, more hot and cold cup holders, and another wireless charging pad. You will have to pack fairly light, though, as while there is a boot in the front and the back, total space is just 200 litres. There will be an optional roof box, but it might be just easier to have one of the staff drive a luggage car for you. We hope you've enjoyed this quick first look at the Koenigsegg Jumeirah. And if you are keen on one, then you best be quick because just 15 of the 300 build slots are still available. Get in touch with Koenigsegg's Australian retailer, Sullivan Kerr, here in Melbourne. Sadly, it's unlikely we'll ever get a chance to drive one of the 300 examples, but fingers crossed because it's a fascinating machine full of groundbreaking technology that may one day trickle down to regular cars. <laughs>